Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger, and today in this video I'm going to do a quick breakdown of the new V Trigger 2 trailer that you just put up for Street Fighter V for the new Street Fighter V Arcade Edition coming up. So this is obviously uh, some speculation, but I got a pretty good guess what's going on, so I'm just going to go through everything that's shown in the trailer and give you my idea of what's happening. Now the first one shown in the trailer for the new V Triggers is Zeku's. Now it seems fairly simple. Uh, it does show a transformation, and it is cancelable off the scythe kick, so that is something. But uh, compared to everything else on the trailer, it's kind of vanilla. And he definitely has a nice trigger as a stance. Now, next up is Ryu's, and yes, I do say Ryu, not Ryu. I grew up with Street Fighter in the early 90s, I'm not going to change now. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it seems to turn his uh, parry into a very big defensive powerhouse. So yes, normally most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, if you get a parry, you usually can get a hit off it. Uh, but this seems to turn his parry into more of a straight counter, more reminiscent of, say, Old Master Goken in Street Fighter 4. Uh, if you notice here, Yurian actually, as soon as the parry happens, he doesn't hit the ground normally, he goes into a bit of an animation, and then falls into the crumple, meaning you can, at the very least, as shown in the trailer, get a dragon punch, and perhaps maybe more of a full combo depending on what's going on. Uh, but yeah, so this definitely will enhance his defensive prowess, and uh, in terms of at least the story, it seems to be him mastering uh, either uh, Dungeon Mode or the Power of Nothingness as his hands are kind of glowing the appropriate color. Now, next up is Bison's. I originally thought this was a command throw, but I seem to be wrong on that. Uh, but it seems to be like a hit throw, because he is comboing into it. So the first part here where he gives him that little bit of a noogie or, you know, head noggin there, uh, it seems to be able to detonate it. Now look at his hand here, and you see he kind of jacks his hand like he's uh, detonating a bomb or something like that, and he immediately goes into the Psycho Crusher. So I believe uh, the first part with the noogie will lead into uh, later on, you can choose to detonate it and then go into the follow-up. Now that said, I do believe that Psycho Crusher shown here is a follow-up, like a direct follow-up. It's not its own special move, it is part of the detonation. So Charlie's here. It says here right on the trailer, new combo extenders, and uh, that's exactly what this is. He follows up with a reverse flash kick and then goes into a bit of a Terry Bogard dunk. And then, uh, as you see here, he's going into the super, so this is definitely a juggle okay super, at least for the super. And I'm assuming uh, you probably can get MK Scythe Kick and perhaps more. Uh, but yeah, uh, as it says in the trailer, uh, not much mystery here. This is a combo extending thing. Because his current uh, V Trigger, you can you know get a bit of a longer combo, but not too much. Uh, and certainly not to this extent. Next up here, Ed's. It seems to change his V Trigger into a spin out state where you can now get a full combo from. As uh, see here, after the V Trigger, normally you'd get pulled in or something. Instead, he spins out, he gets Crouch Medium Punch, and then he goes into the Flicker Jabs. So uh, this seems to be a uh, combo extension because normally even you can get combos off his normal V-Trigger, absolutely, but uh, it will leave them in an airborne state, kind of leaving you limited. Uh, this seems better for both a corner carry and perhaps uh, there's going to be more extensions, more you know, flash possible than just what's shown in the trailer. But overall, this is definitely just a combo extension trigger. Now, of everything shown in this trailer, to me, uh, this is the most interesting one for Mika. So Nadesho comes in, just like her other trigger, uh, this time wielding a chair. Now what's important here is the chair she swings, uh, if you notice here, she swings it twice. So I believe this will help uh, get even more mix-up potential than her usual one, as say the first hit happens and they block correctly. Uh, the fact that she's swinging a second time lets you like say jump over their head and then that uh, hit is now a cross-up and they have to block the chair shot the other way. Now another thing to show here is uh, at the very end of the V-Trigger activation she raises her hand and then takes a little bit for Nadeshko to come out. So this is similar to her regular V-Trigger where she can hold it and uh, you have multiple timings for Nadeshko to come out and I believe this one will activate, uh, when activated, will work the same way. You can have a short activation where she comes out right away or you can hold it and then she raises her arms and Nadeshko will come out after a slight delay. Birdie's new trigger, uh, just the initial part, uh, just like his first trigger, uh, the initial part is a hit and see here, because, you know, it hits Zangief out of the air. And the way he raises his arms with uh, the flame, it seems to be much more of an anti-air-minded V-Trigger. So just the activation uh, will beat the air attack. And uh, it's kind of hard to gather from this clip, but maybe it might have a little bit of upper body invincibility. And uh, if you are meant to use this as an anti-air, as it looks like, I think that would be the case. And uh, afterwards, after it's activated, uh, he gains a new attack here, which is the chain which brings in the foe. So this is obviously a juggle okay move as he gets it after the headbutt. Uh, he might be able to make some use of it uh, in neutral, uh, perhaps in neutral. Uh, might bring you in for a full combo, but we're only seeing the juggle version here. Now, uh, he will lose his damage buff. 
Now Birdie does turn red, but only at the start, and if you see here at the end when he's throwing out the chain, the uh, redness of his skin kind of goes away, indicating that it's not the damage buff like the first V-Trigger is going to get. Now, this next one's a really fun one for me anyways. Uh, if you ever played X-Men Children of the Atom, which is uh, the prelude to the Marvel vs. Capcom series, uh, this is a Silver Samurai style move. Uh, it's pretty much exactly what it looks like, honestly. Uh, she'll shoot the big shuriken, it hits, and it'll swing back. Uh, as is shown in this video here, it can lead to full combo, so that's pretty handy. And uh, it's definitely main use is probably going to be as a pressure tool. Uh, my only worry is uh, it seems to overlap with the bombs, because the bombs also is a pressure slash mix-up tool. Uh, so, you know, she could throw it and then she can do her side-switching teleports, you know, and make you guess left, right. Uh, but it seems to kind of hit the same territory of the bombs, but uh, as it stands, you know, it looks useful. It just seems to be treading the same ground as what she already has, so uh, we'll see how it plays out in the end, I guess. Now, this next one here is meant to be a surefire hit for people who like Monot, but don't like the execution requirements of her current V-Trigger, with all the negative edge and all that other silliness. So, the orbs are placed around her and uh, they seem to be shooting en masse either way and she can also direct where they go. So this is almost certainly a V-Trigger. Upon activation you'll get like a secondary bar where you can use the secondary activation whenever you want, like say Yuri and Zagus Reflector. And you seem to have at least two angles of hack, straight forward and up. Uh, could be potentially more. So it's also great for pressure and like I said though, I think this one really is just for the people who don't like the execution requirements of uh, the first one because it is difficult to use correctly unfortunately. Now, Giles is actually pretty fun here, so instead of so focusing on the Sonic Booms, it is now focusing on the Flash Kicks. Now, if you notice here, when he hits them with the original Flash Kick, uh, the hit animation is a bit different. There's a bit of an explosion uh, popping up Alex a bit higher up in the air than a normal Flash Kick would do, and then obviously gets to juggle from it. So, these are two separate moves. Uh, the EX is uh, not linked at all to the first one, or rather, he's linking it afterwards, but is not part of the first initial Flash Kick. Now this makes me wonder, since he hits the ground very fast, uh, it might remove the charge requirement for flash kicks? I'm not sure, uh, but he does have it very fast, and uh, or at the very least it might lessen the charge requirement, because that happens quite quickly. And the final one here is Ken's classic Shin Ryuken move, uh, so it's just a hit trigger. So uh, like Vega's Rose, you activate and it'll come out. Now unlike Vega's Rose, I hope this is a uh, two uh, activations per trigger because uh, one of the big downsides of Vegas trigger is simply you do it once and that's it and uh, I do hope that triggers also change perhaps getting two uses in the uh, Street Fighter 5 arcade edition but uh, yeah it is simply the classic Shin Ryuken at the very least I'm sure it's quite invincible it'll be a fantastic anti-air on its own uh, and obviously in this video you're sh uh, being shown using a combo but it'll give uh, Ken at the very least hopefully another defensive layer and matches where he would need that so that's the V trigger shown in the trailer. Uh, there's obviously more to come. We have a lot of other characters. Like I'm very interested in seeing what Vega and Fang have, for example, because they uh, kind of indisputably have two of the worst V triggers in the game. And interestingly, I'd like to see people like Nikali and Abigail, because their V triggers are so good. Like, what is a V trigger you could offer them that would make them actually switch? You know, short of nerfing them, which would be kind of lame. Uh, that is definitely not a way we want to go around it, and at least I wouldn't want to go around it. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, definitely a great new take on the game. It's very interesting, and I look forward to seeing how all this is going to turn out. But anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it found you well. Go out and play some Street Fighter.